Alright guys, in my quest for the ultimate fly barless setup for the Wakara M120 V120 style helicopters, um, I came up with another idea today. Before I get into that, I just want to go over some of the basics of the fly barless setup and wherein lies the problem and why we're modding this in the first place. This is the original um, follower or swash lock or um, washout base that Wakara uses in the, in the uh, standard setup. The problem with it is these arms pivoting on bushings have very thin amounts of metal left, very thin, about 20 thou, and tends to just blow up and self-destruct kind of at the most inopportune times. Um, usually when you're up 20 or 30 feet up, uh, coming down, crashing, and destroying the whole thing. So it's got to go, and if you haven't changed it, um, you're going to very soon if you keep flying your heli. So I know they've come up with version 1 and version 2 and version 3, etc., etc. Doesn't cut the mustard, in my opinion. Micro Heli came up with theirs, and it's a lot beefier, you'll see. It's a little chunkier. And the big difference is the arms. Look at the size of those arms. And they're supported on bearings instead of bushings. Now, this seems good until you use it, um, 10, 20 flights or so, and you get this. Okay, a lot of play. Um, this kind of a setup, washout type setup, works great on my T-Rex 250, on my 550, on 600 and 700 size machines. But they're big, and they've got meat, and they've got some strength. This is just too complex of a tiny assembly that is put under a lot of stress um, and just can't take it, especially with the high-powered setups that uh, we tend to punish these machines with. Maybe in the stock form, it's fine, and we're just not meant to be messing with the mechanics here. So Heliworks came up with their style head, and... I came up with my style head uh, a couple weeks ago, and I've got a fixed follower um, made out of aluminum onto the aluminum head, and it's indexed onto a couple of flats so it can't turn, um, locked in place. The other thing I like about this head is that I drilled a hole up top taking advantage of the longer M120 shaft, or on the V120 even, that shaft. But because I didn't need the room for that fancy follower down the below, I extended the head deeper, and so the shaft is now guided um, for about 10 millimeters here, from the bottom right to that hole. And that makes it very rigid. Okay, There's absolutely no slop, no play. Uh, the stock setup, the Wakara one, you'll see the hole is about three millimeters above and over time you get and you can't really see that maybe but you get a bit of play okay plus it's soft metal uh, it tends to wear after a couple of crashes you get this you can feel it here clickety clack bit of play so um, not a big fan of that however it really does the job if it weren't for the whole swash problem so not everyone can afford um, to go and upgrade their head to something like this or the micro heli one and I don't blame them spend a lot of money in the first place to buy your heli and it's a shame that you have to go spend more to get it to actually work so taking a look at the Wakara head this one's gray because it's off of my M120 but the V120 would be red and be identical you'll notice it's flat on these two sides okay and tapered okay by tapered I mean it's bigger at the top smaller at the bottom okay in both directions. I wanted to take advantage of this in the design and see if I could do something in terms of a follower. And I've seen some followers lately online that people had made and they seem good and I'm not going to take anything away from them. They're very uh, usable designs. But I wanted to do something that would help the geometry a little because what you'll notice about those is if you stop right at the base of the head here your geometry is going to be a little bit uncentered from the center of the link. 
and it's hard to see since I don't have it fully assembled here, but um, you want to make sure that your follower is in the center of your pitch link to the blades. So what I did with this follower, you'll see, is I milled a pocket or a recess in there. Okay? And also what I did, a um, little hard to see, but you'll notice that the sides here, okay, are flat. This side and the far side, okay, are flat, straight, and then curved at the ends. It's also tapered. I've got a special milling cutter that's tapered. And so, again, it's hard to see, but if you can imagine, this is cut at a bit of an angle, up and down. And what that does, at the end of the day, when I slide it on here, and lock it into place, it can only go on in the one direction. See, in this way, it won't go on. But if I turn it 90, click, goes in, and if I seat it a little, press, okay, it's now locked on. Okay, dab of CA or some Loctite, you're good to go. However, I don't know if I would trust it just like that because, um, you know, there is a lot of force and you don't want to mess with uh, Murphy when you're up there. So, what you'll see is that Wakera has the flats machined on the shaft. Those are where the screws were supposed to go for that fancy follower that blows up. However... My first idea was to use an O-ring, and if I slide that on, it works. It slides, and it goes right and clips into place over those little recesses, and this thing will not come off. It's locked on there. But I don't know if I would trust the O-ring, so I figured, you know what, that's uh, fancy, well, but over fancy. I push it down. The other idea is everybody must have an extra collar. Um, this is the standard collar that goes at the top of the main shaft um, and holds the main shaft in place. And that collar, the way I've made this thing, oop, my pin just fell out there. But anyway, uh, that collar slides on and lines up with those holes, and voila done and because I've machined that pocket in okay it is now sitting up at the right level and if I place it next to my custom head okay what you'll see is that geometrically pretty much identical okay see the center distance from the, where the feathering shaft or spindle would be down to the follower pretty much identical. Put them side by side, line them up, okay, very good. So geometrically, this is identical to this. You don't go out and spend all the money on this or Heliworks or what have you. Uh, again, this is superior only because mechanically it's very rigid, structurally it's very solid. However, for the money, you've already got this. And if there's nothing wrong with it, don't just chuck it yet. Okay? Again, you've got a collar already, and I'm not here to try and sell anything. So what I'm going to try and do is tell you how to make your own. You don't got to go out and buy a milling machine and make this thing out of aluminum. What I've got here is a sheet of Delrin. Um, now, Delrin's not the easiest thing in the world to find, but I'm sure you'd be able to find a suitable piece of plastic in some way, shape, or form that's not going to be too brittle. And if you do, okay... As long as it's about 3 millimeters, um, eighth of an inch or so, well, maybe a little bit more. What you can do is, with your fancy, expensive X-Acto knife, trace a pattern, go and do some cuts repeatedly, okay, until you've got the shape of a follower that you've got in your mind. Cut the hole, and you'll notice I've got a, an, a boss here round that I had 
turned on the lathe, but you don't need that either. If this was just solid, and you cut, okay, this shape is all you need. This oval type of shape, okay. Now, all you really need is it to make sure that you're flat on two sides, okay, and take your time and cut a um, little at a time, test fit it, until you're happy and because it's plastic it should be able to seat pretty good and little by little shave or file down until this slides over and wedges itself on and make sure that you've got no play in this direction okay like I've got here make sure this doesn't wiggle and slowly slowly with the exacto and a piece of plastic wedge it on there okay then grab one of your main shaft collars Slide the main shaft collar on, tighten it up against those existing flats that are on the shaft, and you're going to have your own DIY follower that will work identical to what I've got. Okay, as long as you're patient and do a good job um, with the plastic, it will work and it will be in many, many ways superior to the stock way of doing it. So I hope some people out there have the guts to try it and maybe the time and the effort to uh, post something that they've made and if you do get around to it I'd love to see it um, again I'm not in this to try and make any money or anything I'm hoping people can take a look at the idea and do it themselves um, plastics easy to work with and it will do the job hope this helps guys